Hey everybody, so today's video, it's about two weeks since I last made Tarantula Feeding Video 84. So I guess you know what that means. Yes, a new feeding video. Tarantula Feeding Video 85. Nice. So I didn't really get a chance to put um, Brad's uh, mature male wagons into a better container, as well as my Morticia, the female, but I'll be doing that uh, shortly. So we're going to feed all the 127 T's. Uh, the ones we're not going to feed, of course, is uh, the B. smithy Scarlet that molted, as well as a Tapicnia Sancti Vincenti female because she has her egg sac. All right, so uh, without further ado, let's get started and hope you enjoy it. Okay, so we're going in alphabetical order this time. So the first T is uh, Shasha. My 5 inch female Acanthoscuria brocklehursti, the giant white banded. Hmm. Well, I thought she wasn't pre mold, but I guess not. Alright, here is a Acanthoscuria genicolata male. This is the giant white knee. Nice. Yeah, this is his first feeding since he molted. Alright, so I'm going to attempt to feed um, Jason's mature male A. Calcodes. He's still alive and kicking well. Um, just really no luck between the female and the male as far as mating goes. Yeah, he eats no problem. This female. I don't know, she doesn't really like to eat very much. Must be her hibernation period because it is winter out. So let's uh, feed her two crickets. No way, she ate. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I haven't seen her eat in whew, at least a good couple of months. Hmm, truly a finicky eater. So as you probably predicted, the next uh, genus that I have are Vicularia. These are the pink toes. So this one here is an Avic Avic female named um, Annabelle. Wow. I liked how she struck that. That was cool. Here's one of my largest of Ecularia. This one here is a Hurriana, Ecuadorian woolly pink toe. Just love how hairy she is. Really cool. And surprisingly very docile. Okay, so here is my Vicularia Leda. Uh, this is the Puerto Rican pink toe. As you can see, she has her phantom egg sac. I don't know why she has it still. But it's a good idea to show you why teas with egg sacs really shouldn't be fed, uh, because they're going to ignore it. So it's here. I know this is an infertile sac. I've never mated this species before. And uh, she's not even mature. She's not even full size. So, just a little to a little word of advice when you have teas with egg sacs. This is exactly why I'm not feeding my tea Sancti Vincenti. All right, this one here is in the Vicularia urticans, the Peru pink toe, the giant. Yeah, it's all poop everywhere. She does poop a lot. So let's see how cat is. Yeah, she's pretty mean. Good girl. Alright, next Ivicularia is a Versicolor, the Antilles Pink Toe, Trinity. Yeah, 
She's pretty mean too. She gave me a couple of fair postures. But very beautiful Avic though. There you can see the fangs going into the super. Alright, so I'll give you an update on my pair of Brachypalma albopolosum, the Honda's curly hair. So this is Kira. Uh, she was a three-quarter inch sling back in March 2010 when I got her at the expo. Him at the expo. It's a male. They're generally okay eaters. Well, at least he got it. Well, sort of. And there is that Curly Sue. She is the oldest tarantula that I have, and one of the very first few of them that I ever got. She's 23 years old. Oh, huh, he finally got it. Not hungry. Alright, here's Katana. She is a big, bony female, 20 years old. Got that one, no problem. Yeah, these bomies are known for flicking their hairs. One of the more nervous of the members. Alright, next up is a Brachypelma Classy which is a Mexican pink petunia. She always eats. One of my best brachypalma eaters. There you go. You see that? Awesome. Alright, this one here is a brachypalma vagans, the Mexican red rump. This is my little sling named Annette. Wow. Awesome. That was cool. This one right here is a Brachypelma verdesi, the Mexican rose gray. And last bracky is Fantasia. She's a hybrid of a Vagans and Verdesi. Ooh, she wants that. Ooh, that was a nice snatch there. She just loves her cave. Just a two liter shoebox enclosure, and they're perfect for your two to three inch tees. One of my favorite horned baboons. This one is a Ceratogyrus marshalli, the straight horned baboon, named Marsha. <laughs> I like the way she attacks. Does a full 180 and attack so gently. But she's mean though. She's given me many threat postures before. This T is one serious Weber. This one here is a Kilobrachis guanasiensis, the Chinese fan. I'm Julian and she's incredibly fast. First hand. Yeah. Four plus inch female now. Recently molted. Alright, this is one of the favorites in my collection. It is a green bottle blue, chromatopalma sienna pubescens.
so gentle the way she attacks compared to the last being booted where she just nabbed the super worm. This one here is a Crotophilus Ramsey Cuban Pygmy. I think uh, Tech Tech should be ready to eat. Oh, awesome. Back to its old self again. Here's a Cirgopacus shoidy, the Malaysian Earth Tiger. Ooh, excellent. This one here is in the Phobos Rufescence, the Burgundy Skeleton. Alright, so now, give an update on my Phobos uh, Udaman, which is the Emerald Skeleton, a very, very fast species. Quite uncommon to find. So I'm trying to find a super worm for her. I'm hoping she eats. Got this one as a half an inch sling back in 2008. Mm. As a freebie when I got the P. Metallica that turned out to be a mature male. Excellent. So all the Philippus eat, unfortunately. Uh, my Udaman, no sorry, my Marinus, I couldn't actually get it on film. Uh, just because of the way she was positioned in her burrow. Six liter shoebox enclosures are just perfect for your Marinus. And I'm not sure if you can actually see her. Yeah, she's there. This one here is the Euathlos Trichomontis, the Chilean Beautiful, also known as uh, Parafiza Parvula. Right, she ate. Here is Roy, a immature male, Gramostola Pulcra, Brazilian Black. Come on, Roy. That a boy. Yeah, just Ebony's not too hungry. That's my big female. All right, now for Grandma Sola Pulcher Peas, the Chaco Gold Me. This is Charlotte, the largest female that I have, about six inches. She was about two inches back five years ago. Still about two more inches left to grow, and that'll be it. Here's Wendy, and they're female. Pupated superworm. This is Talia, our famous uh, Grandma Sola Rosea, Chilean Rose, that always eats. It's a difference between that and day because Michaela, who is the other rose here, just doesn't eat at all. And look at her. She eats like nothing. Like a bracky almost. Alright, so uh, here to update my Grandma Sola Rosea red form. I tried to feed um, Lois, the 4 inch female that I got for my birthday. Not too hungry. Let's see how Morris does. He's the male. Again, it's like he's like Talia and she's like Michaela. Doesn't eat, always eat. What's up with that? I don't really know. It's just specimens vary. Haplopalma lividum, cobalt blue. 
that's Midna. And the only one that I have left. No, guess not interested. Next. Let's go with the Hedascartra Maculata, the Togo Starburst Baboon. That's a little Gordon. Growing a little slowly. Alright, here's another burrowing species. This is my Holotheli Incy. The Trinidad Olive. Let's see, she takes a super worm for the first time. Now, this is a cool video. As we actually never see her out in the open very often. Yeah, she got it. Wow, that's a beautiful eight inch. She almost full grown. Next up are two Lassiodorus. I'm surprised my Difficiles wouldn't eat in front of the camera, but. On the left, I'll feed the Fracta, which is a Brazilian smoky gray bird eater. No problem. And this is the Bahia scarlet bird eater, also known as Lassiodora kluge. Now for Lassiodora parahibana, the salmon pink bird eater. So this is my female goma. She's the youngest. Not too shabby. Here's Daisy, a little larger one. She's probably around five plus inches. These are very, very hungry eaters. And this is Daniela, she's the last female. I'll just pounce on it. And I also have two mature males that are currently on breeding loan with uh, Jason and Jesse. Don't know exactly the status of them yet, but uh, I guess I'll probably message them and ask how, see how well they're doing. Nandu Chromatis, the white striped bird eater. Nadia, the three and a half inch female. Nandu Colorado Velosus, the Brazilian black and white. Yep. See how an attack there. Juvenile male, Nandu Tripepi, the giant blonde bird eater. Darius. Nice one. Here's Jade, Panthabedius Antinus, the Bolivian Steely Blue Leg. Good girl. She's huge. She's around seven inches. It's starting to darken in color. I'm sure this tea needs no introduction. My evil, vicious Pecanserides, Haitian brown bird eater. Yeah, I think so. Man, she's scary. Now time for the pokies, yay. So, many people are already know this from watching my channel, but this is one of the favorite tarantulas in my collection. Uh, this is a Pocotheria bara, the ivory lowland ornamental. I think she nabbed it. 
Oh, yes. There she is. Ooh. I love P. Safaska and Bara. And P. Bara and Safaska Highland are arguably one of the more docile pokies. Some people say it's P. Metallica, but you haven't seen my specimen. Mine's pretty defensive. That's really cool to see her eat. Alright, now let's go on to the P. Fasciata. Here's a P. Fasciata, Sri Lankan ornamental. <laughs> that was sweet. Let's check him out. Yeah, this one's a possibly penultimate male. We'll find out when he molts. Here's another P. fasciata. Uh, this is the one I got at the, the expo this year. Well, October. Uh, this one's still a sling. Hopefully, um, it'll be a female. Since I really have bad luck finding fasciata and Patterseni females. Every one I buy, they always end up being male. <laughs> yeah, but... Good looking pokey. One of the rarest ornamentals. This one here is a Poclotheria Hanumavila Sumika. The Ramash Warm Ornamental. There it goes. Here's my Pocotheria Petersoni, the Ghost Ornamental. Let's see how well Amy eats. Snatched. Here's Papa Link, uh, Code Dark 2's mature male P. regalis. I guess he's not hungry. Here's Zelda, the mother P. regalis. Good girl. Yeah, she's a proud mother. I'm just so proud of her. And here are the babies. Uh, these are 44 days old. So we'll have a little check on them. So you can see at least over 75% of them are um, starting to become mixed with legs now. Try to give you some light so you can actually see what they look like. My camera can focus properly. Yeah, look at all the eggs with legs. Such a good experience to see this. Here's a nice video of Allison, my Pocotheria smithy, the yellow-backed ornamental. Ooh, nice. So it's a female. Roughly round, say a good close to two and a half inches. Very pricey pokey here. Alright, here's a peace triata, the Mysore ornamental. Perfect. Alright, this one here is a female piece of Fusca Highland, 
the Candy Highland Ornamental. You can see it's female by the folio straight on the abdomen. You can see how the outline is so pronounced. One of my favorites. Next to my Ibarra. Excellent. That's one of the beautiful pokies I've ever seen. Yeah, I like this more than P. Metallica. Here's Trina, a Samopolis camera dry turned at Chevron. Scrolls around 7 inches, full grown. Here's Josie, P. Arminia, very plump. All right, go fishing. Add a girl. Definitely one of the prettiest members of the genus. The sun tiger. All right, this one here is a Trinochilus lagardi Fort Hall baboon star. She's a adult female. Yeah, got that one. Here's a Cerico Palma Rebronitans, the giant Palmina red rump. <coughs> Roberta. She's a fast T for her size. And she's pretty mean too. I guess she's not interested. Oh well, shame. Definitely one of the most potent tarantulas that I own. This is an S. calciatum, the feather leg baboon. <laughs> Grabbed it. This actually might be a suspect female, so that's a good sign. Alright, Tapnikinia's Gigas, the orange tree spiders, battle of the sexes, male versus female, which other two are going to eat. So here are my pair of uh, males. Yep. Alright, here's another male. Ooh, that one did a nice job. Key Gigas. Alright, here are the females now. I know one of them just freshly molted. Oh well, I guess one of them's not going to eat. You can see. This is your typical Tapnikinius uh, behavior as slings. They start threading. Very aggressive arboreals, even more so than pokies and some of Poas. Uh, so she's not going to eat. I have another cricket in there. I have to see if this girl ate. And here's the mature female Gigas. Barb. some acrobatics there. Nice species. Here's Hans, a very old mature male, Therophosis dermi, Virgandita goliath bird eater. He matured in February of 2010. So I'm really surprised he's still alive. Fortunately, he's too old to mate with Gretel, so... 
That really sucks. Hey, he's still kicking strong in one of the largest tarantulas that I own. He's at least a good 10, 11 inches, I would say. Now this is Gretel, my female tea stormy. A lot of people are wondering exactly how I keep them. This is how I do it. I block a lot of the ventilation and I keep the substrate moist at all times. And this is about a week after I sprayed her enclosure and it's still pretty humid in there. So this is what she looks like now. Um, she still has that pink going on, but she's still alive. That's the most important thing. Okay, so let's see if she's willing to eat. And all this pink stuff that... Uh, she suffered from a bad mold, but... Look at her, she's still eating. So happy for her. I usually give like two super worms to big teas. I'll see if she wants it again. No, she just wants one. Okay. Now a transition from something so large to something so small. Uh, this is my three quarter inch uh, Thrixopalma sanulum the cobalt red rump. Good as done. This one here is a Vitalis Cerrocabi, the Brazilian striped bird eater. Good girl, Vita. She's pretty docile for a bird eater. And this one is Genesis, my suspect male, Zenitha Simanus, the Colombian Lesser Black Tea. Oh, great. And that's about it. So, overall, it was a pretty good feeding video, and I was frankly surprised that the A. Calcodes female ate for the first time in so many months. Yeah, and to those who are wondering why sometimes I don't feature certain teas, well, there's just either don't eat or they're just not really visible to actually get a good video on it. All right, I know you want to get your 15 minutes of fame. I have a little treat for her, her chicken jerky. She just loves it. Okay, so I need to sit down. Roll over. Pa? Pa? Okay, the other pa? 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 Give me a pa. Dance? Stick out your tongue. Stick out your tongue. Alright, here we go. You sit down. You stay. Sit. There we go. Even she's going to get a feeding video. <laughs> Mike, was that chicken jerky good? Did you like it? Yeah. <laughs> she's so adorable. Seven-year-old female Jitsu. Tzu. And just before I let you off, I have some shout outs to give to, so these are the last five I'm going to be giving uh, because I'm frankly getting a little overwhelmed by so many people keep asking me for them. Alright, so here are the shout outs that I have to give. And this will be uh, the last one until a few more days. Just uh, come and take a break from these. Uh, Jay Karnak, who's into uh, teas and he's a Zelda fan like myself. Casual guitar hero guy, uh, he does Let's Play videos, so if you're an avid fan of my Let's Play videos, mainly this type of stuff, check out his videos. Uh, Stevo's Tutorials, who um, I'm assuming he's doing tutorial videos on the computer, and various programs, and the Awesome Fun Guys. Um, 
he's a new YouTuber and he asked me to uh, give a shout out. Just check out his videos if uh, you like what he likes. And also to local Yokel1, uh, he has no videos, but uh, he just wanted his name out on a popular channel. Alright, so I do hope you enjoyed the feeding video everyone. Hope you enjoy it, and uh, two more weeks from now, we're going to film a new feeding video. Tarantula feeding video 86. Wow. I just love making them. <laughs>